Okay. Now, yesterday we were trying to remember. We're trying to dig back because you've known algebra for so long, right? Algebra is the mathematics of, what was that word starting with a P that we dug into yesterday? Pronium rules, right? Which is about when you've got letters or any symbols really that stand for numbers. That's what pronium rule means, stands for numbers. Now, algebra therefore is really the mathematics of numbers you don't know. You don't know what their value is or their value can change, so that's why we put letters in their place. Okay? Now, what I want to point out to you on this yellow laminated thing, uh, which you're the only the second year to ever have had something like this, uh, this is what we call the reference sheet. Um, underneath this heading, I want you to uh, make a, a dot point for yourself, which is download and print the reference sheet. Is that the one in like, the HSA table? Mm, so I'm going to tell you a, a bunch of things about this. Okay? Um, the reference sheet is what you will get during your assessments, including the final HSC. You can see, uh, we've, we've tried our best, it's three pages, it's three pages. So uh, there's the first pair of pages, which are about mathematics, two units, so we've just tried to fit them all in. And then the third page on the reverse is extension one. I'll get to that in a second. Okay? And you will get this in every single assessment that you do throughout the year, okay? Uh, which is why I physically brought these, I'm gonna collect them back, obviously, but these are what you'll get, so we can reuse them. Why do we have a reference sheet? Uh, how many of you study physics? Physics, yeah, oh, a huge proportion of you, thank you, hands down. In physics, you also have a sheet that's quite similar, it has a different name, data sheet, something like that, okay? Why do we have these kinds of things during assessments? Actual question to you guys, why do these things exist? Yeah, what are you asking? like, we don't mess up, like some of the things different Okay, fantastic, so, Number one, there are things that you can confuse back and forth between things. For example, uh, in mathematics, when we use the letter M, it almost always stands for? Does anyone know? Gradient. Usually gradient, but in physics it usually stands for M. Think about a physics thing that starts with M. Usually mass, right? Um, you can think about the letter E. What does the letter E stand for in physics? <laughs> usually, I mean, come on, the most famous equation in the world is E equals mc squared, so that's energy, but in mathematics it never means energy, it either means, hmm. does anyone know what it usually means? E, 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 just literally, oh that's big E isn't it, but anyway, as a letter, it either refers to this number, which is a very important number, dot, 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 which we'll meet later on, or it stands for something called eccentricity, which I can explain later for you if you want, okay? so. Good first point, so you don't confuse them. Any other reasons why we, as teachers, would give you this thing? Yeah. Because in a test, they're not testing whether you can remember a formula; they're testing whether you can do math. Aha! Uh -huh. So, memory matters in all subjects, right? You have to remember some stuff in order to facts come first, then skills using those facts. Okay. But memory is not primarily what maths is about. Maths is about thinking. It's about recognizing patterns. It's about understanding and solving problems. So therefore, being that memory is not really what we're assessing, we try and take memory as much as we can out of the equation. Okay? See what I did there? Anyhow, so there's lots of things that uh, we don't expect you to remember. However, I just want you to look. Let's just start with the first page. Okay? You actually know quite a few of these things already. You're like, wow, this is really stage six? Just, just go through and mentally check off the things that you already know and recognize. Factorization, do those look familiar? <laughs> Do those look familiar? Yeah, yeah you, they should look familiar, right? But these actually all have names under factorization. The first one is? The very, very first one, a squared minus b squared. We usually call that difference of squares. Uh, the next two, they're not squares, they are cubes. So we call them, when you add, do you remember we looked at this yesterday in 1a? The sum and difference of cubes. Okay, good. Uh, what about the next one? Have we seen that before? We have. By the way, why is it true? If I gave you, like, say, a pentagon, right? The reason we can know that its angle sum is 540 degrees is because of this formula. But where does this formula come from? Does anyone actually remember? Pascal's where it comes from. Say that again, a bit louder. Pascal's. Pascal. The, what is pa what, what is Pascal famous for? What shape? Triangles. triangles. <laughs> Believe me, we'll talk about Pascal's triangle in a second. But just regular triangles are actually what I'm interested in here. Does anyone remember the trick that we, we used to find out what these five angles all add up to? Triangles, come on, think. If you just divide up this shape, 
into triangles, right? How many triangles can I fit? Three, because there are one, two, three, four, five sides, so you can fit three, okay? And each of those three triangles has an angle sum of 180 degrees. Can you see it now? Can you see it? N minus two, like five minus two, and each 180 is a triangle, okay? So you know that, you know that. keep going. Uh, equation of circle, have we seen that before? Uh, I hope so, <laughs> okay? Um, and you can keep going. Uh, you don't need to um, go through this with me. Now, I said you guys are only the second year to have something like this. Back in my day, we did get some sort of memory aid, but all that was on here was, I want you to look at this side. See that fourth column, um, the final column over there. You see how it's got these um, weird symbols there that maybe you haven't seen before. They look like this. See those? Okay, uh, it's what we call an integral sign. I'll explain those later this year. That's why the headings are integrals. Okay, um, our sheet, my sheet, um, had nine or ten of those results, like actually including these. Okay, uh, and that was my whole sheet. That was it. Everything else had to be up here. Okay. Now, let me say this very carefully. Put your sheet down for a moment. The two facing pages, the the two unit sheet, okay, sheets. They're not for you. I mean, you can use them, but they are not for you. Because honestly, by the time we get to all these assessments and that kind of thing, what happens when you use a piece of knowledge repeatedly? Like you do exercises, you look at it over and over again, what happens to that? You just learn it. Like you're not purposely like, oh, I should cover it up, memorize, cover it up. That You just learn it almost by accident, okay? Now, as students in X3, for the two unit course, that, that should be everyone in this room should be everyone in this room. Um, we give this to you, which is kind of handy, but as you can imagine, if you are in an exam and you see a question and you're like, oh, what do I have to do for this one, right? If you have to consult this, that doesn't come for free. It comes with a time penalty. You've got to know what you're looking for, then you've got to find it, then you've got to apply it, okay? For students in your position, by the time we start to use these, most of these should be in your memory, not because you've made a special effort to memorize, but because you'll know them better, okay? Turnover. This is where it starts to get a little more grey. Okay, so this stuff. Whoa, we don't know any of this stuff. Not really, anyway. Okay. Now we will learn and master all of these. I'll forgive you a little more if you want to consult uh, this side. Uh, to be honest, I wish I, I really wish I had this side when I was going through. But uh, this is not something we'll have to worry about for a little while. Okay. But you get them all together, so that's why I'm showing you the whole thing. Okay.